When I look at the shape my dad's in, I got my fair share of scars and broken bones. I never wanted that for my kids. I don't know if I made the right decision. Reality TV surely took an unexpected turn during the last decade with shows such as Axemen, though it's not easy to explain why people loved seeing series with that common men in danger concept so much. Since Axemen premiered in 2008 on the History Channel, it's kept a privileged place on the network's programming schedule due to its impressive ratings. It's an acknowledged fact that the audiences like to see average people going through outrageous situations on TV, but the success of Axemen could also be folded in how thrilling it is to see an activity such as logging, which is often regarded as clunky and not interesting at all, taking a big media spotlight. Nonetheless, the show's sudden cancellation in 2016 left its fans wondering why and will it ever return? So whatever happened to Axemen? And what's its cast up to today? Stay with us to know all. Unfortunately, there's no clear explanation as for why Axemen was cancelled after nine seasons on air. However, while many people theorize it was due to low ratings, which admittedly dropped during the last two seasons, another part of the audience guesses that the reason is far more sad and even terrible. It's important to know that prior to the cancellation of the series, it was hit with the unfortunate death of some of its cast members. The first logger from the show to die was Jimmy Smith in 2012, followed by William Bard Colantuono the following year, probably making the situation too sad to continue. Tragically enough, the one in charge of delivering the news of the definitive end of Axemen in May 2016 was Gabe Rygard, just a couple of months prior to his own death in a car accident in Washington state. Axemen was revived with a 10th season later in 2019, meant to explore the lives of some of the crews showcased in the original series airing. The season contained 10 episodes and finished airing in September that year. Since then, no further news of a renewal has been released, leading many people to think that the series reboot was probably a one-time thing. So where are the old crews today? Based in Astoria, Oregon, the company J.M. Browning Logging debuted in the first season of Axemen and stayed in the series until the fourth. The business was owned by Jay Browning, who had been in the logging industry since the early 1970s, eventually funding the company in 1985 to offer services of tree transportation, trucking, and construction. Although the company has no presence on social media and the website has very limited information, it's assumed they're still active in the business. In 2018, Jay was awarded the Operator of the Year from the Northwest Oregon area in recognition of his company's efforts while harvesting timber to protect natural resources at a level that goes above and beyond requirements of the Oregon Forest Practices Act. Although they debuted in the premiere series of Axemen, Gustafsson Logging only stayed in the show for one season. Nonetheless, Clay, Mark, and Wade are surely well remembered by dedicated viewers, though the experience of appearing on TV wasn't very positive for the family. As Mark admitted in a 2019 interview, the Gustafsson motivation for joining the series was to show the world what their job was about, though in his words, it became obvious that Hollywood's intent was a little different than what we were hoping, sealing their short-lived career in the entertainment world on a bittersweet note. The latest update on Gustafsson Logging's activities was in November 2020, when Chad Gustafsson was featured in the magazine Timber West, affirming that business was co-owned by him and his father Mark. However, the company's status online is marked as permanently closed nowadays, making it unclear if they're still active. Owned by Mike Pyle, the Pyle logging business became one of the most remembered crews in Axemen, but not necessarily for positive reasons. While Dustin Pyle and Dwayne Deathless brief presence in the show might not be well remembered by the audience, in 2009, Mike gave people a lot to talk about when he was charged with third-degree assault after flipping his Jeep and injuring his children. Though it was an accident, Mike was driving while under the influence. Now, with that incident left a long way behind, Mike actually made his comeback to TV after several years of being absent during the Axeman revival in 2019. Meanwhile, Pile Logging is still up and running, as seen on their social media. Although Rygard Logging wasn't in Axeman from the start, the company's presence in the show is well remembered by the audience for being the longest of all the crews. As seen in the show, the business founder, Craig Rygard, kept their operations controlled until he stepped down in 2013, leaving it in the hands of his son, Gabe, whose time at the company's head was unfortunately short-lived. In 2016, Gabe was killed in a car accident involving two other automobiles, though he was the only one fatally injured. At the time of his passing, Gabe was only 45 years old and the father of three kids. As seen in the 2019's Axemen revival, nowadays, Rygard Logging is still active, headed by Gabe's brother Jason. Present in Axemen from the second to sixth seasons, SNS Aqua Logging was managed by Jimmy Smith and his son James, but unfortunate events marked the journey in the show on a negative note. In 2009, 
the Department of Natural Resources of Washington State seized dozens of logs valued at $10,000 from SNS Aqualogging. The materials were apparently obtained from the Joaquin River, an activity for which the company lacked permits. In addition to the potential ecosystem damage that salvaging these logs entailed, it's unclear how the case ended up, but seeing that the prosecutors were looking to charge the Smiths with first-degree theft and wanted monetary compensation for the logs in question, things weren't looking good for SNS Aqua back then. Unfortunately, Jimmy Smith died in 2012 of cancer. As of 2021, the business is apparently inactive. After their debut in the third season of Axemen, Swamp Man Logging stayed in the series until its cancellation in 2016. The company's name is a direct recall to the New Orleans swamps where Shelby Stanger's home is. The company's usual activities included the recovery of logs from water conduits and similar, though what usually made it special was Shelby's varied companionships while doing so. However, Shelby's appearances in the show were somewhat overshadowed by strong death rumors, which arose following an injury suffered in the show. Fortunately, he got out of it safely and alive, but Axeman received a huge backlash from viewers for apparently staging scenes that make it look as if Shelby had passed away during the incident. Despite the fact that their social media accounts are not very active, Swamp Man Logging is apparently still active nowadays, although they weren't included in the 2019 Axeman revival. Although they only appeared in the fourth and sixth Axeman seasons, Lemare Lake Logging is well remembered for its owner Eric Dutsevich's straight to the point personality. While Lemare Lake Logging hasn't been on TV since 2013, the company is still doing well in 2021. According to a 2019 interview related to a forestry strike in Canada, Eric's business was the largest forestry services provider in the North Island at the time. However, according to local papers, in recent years, Lamar has often failed to provide local government authorities with clear reports on their operations, something which obviously aroused suspicions towards the company. Still, today, Lamar Lake Logging has been active for 35 years and has over 400 employees. Papak Alaska Logging, fronted by Mike Papak, is evidently one of the most well-remembered of Axman companies, appearing in it for six seasons. Besides the fact that Mike founded his own company to maintain the tradition of his logger father in Washington State, his easygoing personality and invaluable experience made him one of the unforgettable cast members in the show. As far as is known, everything is going well for both Papak Alaska and Mike, who hasn't retired from the business yet. Even after decades, I'm getting older, but I don't figure I'll be quitting anytime soon, he said in an interview with the Equipment Journal in 2020. Unlike other crews in the show, Big Gun Logging was still relatively new by the time they debuted in Axeman during its fifth season. However, Big Gun's owner, Levi Brown, wasn't new to the industry, given that he was a former employee of Mike Pyle, who actually helped him out during the company's early days by contracting their services. Although not a lot is specifically known about Levi Brown and whatever he's doing nowadays, Big Gun Logging is still in business. The Dreadnoughts logging crew appeared in the series for only three seasons, but they arguably had some of the best-known faces in the show. Headed by Clint Roberts, the team formed by Dave Stone and Chris Miller usually searched for logs in the water. In later seasons, new member Caitlin Sims took Miller's place in the crew, soon becoming a fan favorite. However, the fact that she was introduced in Axemen as Stone's cousin was strongly criticized, given that they were totally unrelated. It's unclear what happened to Dreadnought's logging, though. After the end of Axemen, the company's social media hinted that they joined the gold digging business, but seeing that they haven't updated their Facebook page in years and the website is also unresponsive, it's not far-fetched to think that they're not active anymore. As with any other family company, the Axe Cut Lumber Company was quite passionate about becoming big. Headed by Donald and Roland Jones, these twin brothers' dreams of dominating Louisiana's Pearl River waters was indeed admirable, even if they only appeared in one season of the show. It's assumed that Axe Cut Lumber is still active, though the presence on social media is scarce. Though they appeared in Axe Men for three seasons, Greg Chapman and his logging companies several years in the industry was deserving of praise. By the time they debuted in the show's seventh season, Chapman Logging already had 15 years of experience and counting in recovering logs from Florida's waterways. With Greg heading the team, the Chapman Logging crew was quite consistent with members such as Leslie Jeter, Roger Gunter, and Patrick Swilly. Though Chapman's logging social media accounts are not very active, the company's data on online directories report they make on average $98,307 on sales per year, meaning it's going well for them in that regard. On the other hand, Greg's Facebook lets us see that he's still working in logging, but the company's LinkedIn profile lists Chip Chapman as the current owner. For their part, Jeter and Gunter maintain low profiles online. Kelly Oak's logging company was everything one would expect from a young family business. Although Kelly was definitely easygoing, aside of his apparent rivalry with the Rygards, his young sons Josh and Jacob were quite a handful on their own. Though Kelly Oaks and Sons Logging was only an axeman for the seventh season, the experience turned out bittersweet. 
As Kelly asserted during an interview with Forks Forum in 2016, Hayes' disagreements with Rygard logging were troublesome for him, even causing people to send him death threats at one point, something he considered unnecessary given the show's nature. People think that stuff was real. Despite the hate he received from it, Kelly admitted having enjoyed being in the show, an opinion his sons don't agree with. Nowadays, it's not clear what happened to Kelly Oaks and Sons Logging, as they don't have any active page or social media presence. Though Axemen maintained undeniable success for years, the truth is that the possibilities of it coming back are low. As it happens, Axemen and other History Channel-related shows such as Ice Road Truckers were meant to attract a certain audience who were interested in seeing real men in real danger, as the Los Angeles Times defined them. While this trend had its peak in the last decade, the fact that most shows with this format have been cancelled is the strongest proof that their time has most probably passed. Nonetheless, a lot of people would be more than happy if Axemen returns as a long-run series, but only time will tell if that'll ever happen. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.